Hi, in this quick tip video I'll be showing you how to achieve a realistic looking burnt steel effect for your models, engines and thrusters. It's really quick and easy and it does make your models look much better. Of course, you can use this same technique on guns, exhaust and wherever else you think it'll look cool. Right, let's get into it! Okie doke, so final stage of my Crimson Hunter now is the uh, thrusters. Going to make them look so they look like burnt steel like they've been used a fair few times. So to start off I paint them silver. So you can use lead belcher or something like that but I've painted them with the uh, Vallejo metal colour. It says it's for airbrush but you can use it with a standard brush just fine, it works a treat. Uh, this one's Duraluminium. Quite a mouthful, but it's a little bit like lead belcher, but a little bit lighter. But it looks really nice. The, the that range of metal paints, and then I've just coated it with a couple of coats of null oil, and then we're ready to go. So I do mine with dry brushing. To be honest, uh, some people I know get this effect with uh, with an airbrush, but I prefer the look of dry brushing. To be honest, because uh, the, the chalkiness that dry brushing gives you suits that kind of look I think personally because um, like heat distressed metal it doesn't look super smooth it's 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 grainy and dirty looking so I think dry brushing looks better to be honest if you can get to brush in. So the colours I'll use is um, when you look at um, if you look at a piece of metal or a picture of one on Google uh, images it's when it starts off silver then it goes into a gold colour then it goes to a red colour then purple and then I think it goes all the way to a blue colour but for me, I'm just going to do like silver, and then halfway down, I'm going to do gold. So I'll dry brush some Sigma Rise on. Then I'll do go to Corn Red, and then a little bit of Nagaroth Knight, and then just to make it look a bit more dirty, like it's an old engine, it's been used a few times. I just almost stipple some Abaddon Black on afterwards. Okay, so let's make a start. We we'll got some Sigma Rise on the brush. Just gonna shake it then, but you don't need to. This is a dry brush paint and it's like like a waxy stuff. Okay, so the standard uh, thing for dry brushing, get the excess off, work it into the brush. Then we want really quite heavy dry brush from about halfway down the thruster, I'd say. Now you can do this, it isn't just uh, engines and thrusters, you can use this on the tips of your guns as well, on tanks or whatever, whatever you think will get hot. And it just uh, completes the look, it just, it just doesn't make them look good, rather than just doing them silver with washes. It's quite a heavy dry brush, get it right on there. It's my trusty old uh, Games Workshop brush, I think this is uh, a few years old now. The old blue ones. So if we work that in there. Just do the tip as well, inside a bit. On to the next one. Okay, on to the next colour, we'll move on to Corn Red. So don't worry, don't worry about washing your brush, just go straight into the Corn Red. 
then rub the excess off. You don't want a lot of this on because uh, it's quite a strong pigment in this particular paint. Really work it out of the brush. There we go. And then I want to start this just a bit further back than what we've done with gold. Bit much on there. Then lightly, but I brush it on. Leave some of the gold showing. And done. Make them so they both look roughly the same. Okay, happy with that. Now we'll move on to Nagaroth Knight Purple. A little bit on the brush. Leave bit much that one, never mind. Wick it in. And get off the excess. and then do more towards the tips now. And I'll just start to tint that red, nice purpley color. A bit more there. There we go. And just to complete the loop now, I mean, you could leave it like that if you wanted, but it just looks a bit bright and fresh looking for me. So I just get some Abaddon black or any black. Do the same thing. Into the brush. And then rather than heavily dry brushing like before, just almost stipple really, just sort of dab the brush around. Going till this just makes it look 
like a dirty engine that's been used a lot. It just dulls down that uh, the glow of this one a bit more. Take a look at the difference between the two, I don't know how well that shows up. But uh, it, this one looks like a nicely used, dirty engine on that one. A little more clean. Like I say, you can leave it like that if that's the look you prefer. But I like my mine to look like they've been used a fair few times. easy way of doing heat distressed burnt steel effect on your thrusters or your your guns whatever it is you want to do and it just really helps make the model pop have a go and there we go a nice easy method for doing a burnt steel effect on your thrusters or weapons whatever you want to do if you like the video consider liking it and subscribing to the channel and hopefully I'll see you in the next one